Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface back on Skyforge. Now, yesterday, I brought you a video, I showed you an introduction to the game, some narrative, storyline, and also some basic combat. Today, I'm going to show you the three main opening classes available to you. And I, the reason why I say opening classes is there are going to be more options available as the game develops. Now, I've also got... Five foundation pack codes to give away. All you have to do to be in with a chance of winning one of these is to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment in the comment section down below. And if you want to find out who won yesterday's, just stay tuned to the video. I'll be announcing that at the end. Now, standing in front of me are the three main said classes. If I was to press my I key, it would actually bring up my character sheet. Now, we have the light binder who is the support class, the healer class, so to speak. We have the paladin, which is the current format I'm in at the moment, which is the defensive class, the more tanky class. And then we have the cryomancer, who is the DPS. So this is the one that will do the main brunt of the damage. You can get an idea of what you're basically going to look like. That's the cryomancer. That's the paladin, sword and board. And then, of course, we have very wandy looking... Um, <laughs> life binder right there. So when you choose which one you're going to select, and this is very easy to do, you just need to click on to the one that you want, either change class down at the bottom here, or this little circle of two arrows right there. Just click onto that, and it will change the class. Now you can do this anytime, any place, anywhere just like the martini girl it doesn't matter if you're out fighting you can just finish your fight be out of combat go into this screen switch so you have the option here to really kind of uh, diversify with your class system this is very much more of a kin of final fantasy than it is with the world of warcraft where each character is defining what class you play as well once you decide which one you want to go for so i'm gonna rock a paladin because uh, I fancy doing a bit of sword and board tanky mcwanky, um, probably because I'll be crap. Uh, just speak to Flavius, and now we're going to go into some character creation. Now, this is proper ass customization of your character. So, first of all, am I a man? Am I a woman? I mean, you know, they're, they're theological debates which we don't need to go into right now. But look at that dress! Look at that sexy golden dress. Yes, you can... Oh, and... Okay. We got some wobble going on there. The, uh, it's good to see that they've actually spent time and effort on boob physics. Um, yes, yeah, so if you want to go out fighting, you can actually do it in stilettos and a nightdress. Uh, or you can choose something a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more kind of superhero-y, I imagine, on this one. Or um, kind of like punkish... Casual, actually. You know, going to go out for a little bit of a, a dash on the town. Ooh, or get married. Go into a fight before you get married. Um, and blokes, you've got pretty much some of the same options. You've got casual wear. You've got more army kind of based wear. You can look at that. You can even fight in a tux. Or it's not a tux. It's a suit. Or look like Randy Savage coming out of the Blue Oyster Bar. Um, but this one, this one is definitely more classical type of gladiator so if i was just to say okay this is the the type of armor that i'm going to go for now we get naked naked as a jaybird and then we can go into the real kind of core fundamentals of how you want your character to look plenty of options there uh to switch around well, well let's go to the presets you know do i want to be a fat bastard <laughs> Well, so there's, a, there's, a, there's a, they're small. You've got to be small and gutty. Or uh, do I want to be ripped uh, like Henry Cavill uh, or something like that? So you can really kind of let your uh, imagination run wild with you. Let's just grab a couple of randomos here. Let's see. Have we got some nice hair to play with? Because I know that I am. Oh, look at that. That's, that's lovely. Looks like Sam from Supernatural now. Should we put a bit of gruff on? There you go. Hi, Sam. It's Sam from Supernatural. <laughs> and now, after that, you can decide what you want to wear. So even if um, you weren't happy with your first choice, you can switch it around. And there are colour options for you to go to as well. So plenty of little colour choices. I, though, I like this. I like this classical uh, gladiator type of look. And then we have a, a personality here. Okay. 
Light, heavy. I'm not quite sure what all that is about. I'm sure somebody in the comment section down. Oh, hello. Maybe it's the style of run. All oh, right, it's the style of running. Do my feet hit the ground hard? Or am I bouncing on air as I run? Uh, that's quite interesting. I've never seen um, a customization, uh, customization option for running in a game before. This is an absolute first. Stance. Aggressive. Relaxed. So you can change how your character is going to look. Let's have a look at the aggressive stance. That's an aggressive stance. Okay. If you say so. Oh, I quite like the relaxed stance. And then the voice is going to go from da, uh, from deep to um, kind of... We'll just we'll go somewhere in the middle. I know I have such a high octane voice. And then you decide your name. First name and last names. Come on. Every MMO RPG on the marketplace, you've got to offer first and last now. Not just one single name, for goodness sake. So if we call this heel versus... And then if I go baby face... Hello, greetings, Hill vs. Babyface. We can actually create. So now we have our character class and our character name. Now, with the class that you've selected, Flavius is going to give you some VR missions. So if you selected DPS, you're just going to have loads of enemies to wipe out. If you've chosen the tanking class, there's going to be a few more options. You're going to have to move out of stuff, which could hit you. You're also going to have to break out of CCs as well and understand how to do that. And the healer class, of course, can make sure that stuff is protected. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw us out into the big wide world so we can see them in a more dynamic environment and also how easy it is to switch from one class to another as well. So I'm down now on Dankit Island. This is the first questing area that you go to in Skyforge. So if I take my paladin and go and let's have a, a little bit of a scrap here. So there's a group of mobs here. If I hold down my uh, right button on my mouse I do my big AoE. Now when the E button pops up that is literally an E for execute. The mob is on very low health, and if you hit the E when it pops up, you will do an execute move and finish it off. And if you're surrounded by multiple mobs, what I could do here is hit my two button, bring up my shield. So there are a couple of already uh, options available to me. Finishing you off, sir. And then just go back through and finish this last one off. Very easy indeed. These squirrely things on the ground, you go into them and they recover health and MP. So if I was uh, a little bit lower, let's say I was playing a different class that burned through a lot more mana than I did, uh, I would be able to see that. And also, you can pick up various items as well. Now, I picked up a ring. So if I was to go to my uh, ring section here, let's just equip that. There you go. Three valor and three luck. Isn't that just simply splendid? Now, switching between classes, so easy. I hit the I button, and let's just grab the Cryomancer. Look, that is it. I have got this dynamic switching between classes now. So I've gone straight into being a Cryomancer, and again, using my left and right mouse buttons, clickety, 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 and then my one button this time freezes stuff that have got a little bit too close for my liking. Charge this up, boom, and then execute that little blighter, <laughs> encasing it in a huge, <laughs> huge, huge uh, um, ice cube. Icicle, I was going to say. Ice cube, icicle, whatever. Tomato, tomato. So again, if I just waff, hold down my right button on my mouse, it really does uh, charge up that move. All these are close to me, so I just do that and then... Hopefully, there we go. Execute this one. Yes. <laughs> and then complete whatever else I need to do. Don't need to kick some of these down. There you go. Kick those down. You'll also notice that the respawn time is very quick indeed. What I'm going to do now, then, is jump to the... Oh, no, I'm being attacked. No, I'm not going to do that right now. So let's just do a quick bit of fighting to get myself out. As you can also see, I can fight and move at the same time. I'm not rooted to the spot. I can dynamically move around uh, when I'm also involved in combat. So there's no sort of like long-lasting casting times or anything like that. Let's get close with these again. Boosh. Let's just freeze all them up. Yeah, I likes that. I likes that. And I think I just completed when I'm going to execute this guy part of that quest. Let's go somewhere a little bit safer. Uh, so if I hit I again, let's go to Lightbinder. 
So this is the support one. This is the more healery one here. So I still got my attack buttons. So I still got my uh, boosh and boosh. Look at that! Whoa! From a nice range. And I've also got there that little smack there, and then bring up a shield. So I've also got a shield on the. Uh, light binder as well. Now notice it's obviously taken a little bit more for me to deal with this gubbins because this is a support class. This isn't a thoroughbred DPS class, this one. And if I just charge up his move, boom! Oh, that was lovely! A nice AoE which seems to have taken care of everything that was getting in my way. So it doesn't matter if you're tank, healer, DPS, it still looks like you got plenty in your arsenal to start with. Uh, to go and smack things down. And the, just the way that you can jump between classes like this. It's cool. It's cool, isn't it? I mean, I, I like it with Final Fantasy. That I can just, you know, equip a different weapon for a different class. I turn into that different class. That different job. Uh, in, in this case, it's just the same. Don't have to have multiple characters. One character can do it all. And they all seem to level up uh, sequentially as well. So when one levels up and opens up further abilities, if you were to switch to another class, that would have also technically have leveled up and you would also have the ability open for that one. So you can really chop and change uh, depending on whichever situation seems to present itself uh, within the game. Look at that. Some valuables. Uh, so yeah, a little introduction to classes, a little introduction to customization of characters. And that is looking a wee bit too much like Jesus for my liking. Uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Speaking of comments, congratulations to Mr. Puddington. You are the winner of the first Founders Pack code. All you need to do is private message me here on YouTube and I'll get that sent through to you. Remember, if you want to be in with a chance of winning one of these Founders Codes, which I have, all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel and post a comment in this video and I'll announce the winner of the next code in the next Skyforge video. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Those links are in the description down below and I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.